After being announced as suspended, much to the dismay of many musical colonels, the Eastern Kentucky University Marching Band has announced that they're making a comeback. The marching colonels put out a call stating that the free elective class needs enrollment, regardless of major, now that it will be returning in 2018. When you donate to the Habitat Restore, you do more than just clear out stuff from your home or office. By donating it to the Restore, you can help build a new home for someone in need. The donation is tax deductible and they will even come pick it up from you. Check out the Restore for yourself, located behind the Richmond Mall or on Facebook. Former band director from Madison Central, Brent Barton, says that he, along with his friends that are faculty at EKU in the music department, are glad to see this option of bringing the legacy back to Eastern. I think the decision came down in uh, April and there hadn't been a lot of fanfare or, or warning about that decision. There were lots of programs cut. Marching band wasn't the only thing. A lot of theater programs, maybe all theater programs. The initial press releases didn't didn't really line up, and I think a lot of alumnus, people like me that have been out in the field and that march in the band, were just kind of like, hey, what's up with this? We all understand that there are budget cuts and there are monies and priorities, but the marching band is something very visible. New news is that we're they're going to reinstate it and they're going to offer kids a substantial scholarship to be part of it. Considering Eastern's tuition and the level of education they get for that tuition, that should be a, a pretty good incentive, at least to start, I would think. I, I've been shocked at the attendance of the, at, the, at the games and ultimately I think if that goes on, they won't be able to afford the football team or the marching band. But I think the university will be poor if those things goes away. I think the, the university will lose a little stature if they do. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.